Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today I'm going to be doing the raid using my MP5 uh, <laughs> saber over here. Uh, just going to be absolutely destroying this raid because she's MP5. <laughs> she doesn't really have, she doesn't have any supporters, she just needs 50% uh, NP and she basically kills. And that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you've been going for the raids. If you've been able to do any of them. The, the first one was done pretty quickly, but the second one has lasted, I think, a little bit longer. And subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff. So here's my current build for this one. It's very simple, like I said. This, not only is she NP5, which you can see right here, she's NP5. She's 200%, no, she's not even 200%, she's 100%, um, 1,000 in attack and defense. She is level 100, though. I made sure to grail her because, yeah. And she's using Atrifas because that gives 200% battle bonus, and that's basically all she needs. Yeah, that's all she needs for this. And for her supports, it's just these two because they need to actually get Bond leveled up, and that's why I'm using them. And we're going to be going against Spartacus, so let's go. If you're wondering, hey, did you wail crazy for that Summer Saber? The answer is no, I didn't. Um, one of them showed up in the GSSR when I did it one year. All right, let me just... Go here. Um, but the other copy showed up in like the span of like, I think it was basically a multi and some singles. Um, the reason was is that I was trying to get NP uh, 5 for my Summer Marie because she's NP 4. At the end of Summer 1 she was NP, NP 4 and my um, Saber Summer over here was NP 1. And then over time she just got more NPs. <laughs> Until eventually, when I was going for Saber, uh, when I was going for my last copy of Summer Marie, who was a four, all I was getting was Summer Saber, and that's how she got MP5. And I never was able to get. Uh, oops. I'll fix that next. Right here. Yeah. Just... Ah, damn it. Uh, there we go. That should work a little bit better, I think. Um, that's how I got her to. Uh, NP5 basically. It was very easy. Um, it's the only time getting it, the, the only time it's ever happened where it was super easy is when I didn't want it to happen. Um, as you can also see from here, I'm picking the friend leads that are like... Um, I'm picking the friends leads that increase, they don't really increase the bonus of what I get here. I'm <laughs> picking the ones that give me unit bonuses, either QP or Bond, whichever one. Um, but yeah, she's insanely strong. She was already good at MP1. You don't really need her at MP... The, yeah, the only reason you would need her at MP2 is um, certain bosses lower your MP level. And it's nice to have more and she gets a lot of MP, so it's kind of nice for that. But other than that, you don't really need it. Like, I didn't even pay attention to how much damage she did. I just know she can clear this pretty easy with 200%. Let me fix that now. There we go. A little bit better. Vivian! How much was this one? All right, I think the highest I got was 800,000. <laughs> and again, with no supporters or anything, <laughs> it's really dumb how much damage she does. <laughs> oh boy. She is strong as hell. There's no denying the her strong that this woman has. I probably would prefer Bond, to be honest. If I have plenty of QP, I don't use it for much. Alright, let's go here. Let's see how high we can get it. And if you're wondering how much is Shakespeare helping with this, the answer is none, because he increases um, Buster. <laughs> really nothing here. Nothing here on the support help her besides um, the defense down and the attack increase from Nero over here. Everything else is basically pure her. 50% arts, 200% from the... See, she would be able to do so much damage if she had proper supports. Unfortunately, Tomomo not actually fantastic for this because she doesn't give the full... Uh, I wonder how much she would do on... Oh no, that only is effective against sabers, so I won't even bother. Mm. But yeah, she's really good. I very rarely get to use her because I don't have a Tomomo. And I'm gonna get her when... Uh, Tomomo gets basically added for free. So, there we go, that's a big damage. Check out that sweet damage. <laughs> oh man. 
man, if there was any other sermon that I would on MP5, I don't know, you can answer this too, because I'm actually kind of curious if you're hearing this and you want to tell me, I will gladly listen to what you would choose. If there was just one servant that you could have MP5, like mine would obviously be Quetz. Like, honestly, I should be using Quetz for this. And I think I'm actually going to do that for another video. Because it's very rarely I ever get to use my Quetz for anything. <laughs> just because, uh, she is, um very rarely used in single player contact because she's already bond 10 and everything um but the thing the, the the amount of times i ever need a single target um writer is very very low but anytime there's a fight that she can be used in i always bring her she's my go-to girl Dead. Yeah, she gets 53% just from one Nero um, help with that. Imagine how much crazier it would be when uh, the other stuff drops. Which is the Castoria. <laughs> Imagine when her best friend... We are going booking through this, by the way. I am just, like, tearing ass for <laughs> Spartacus. <laughs> he is not putting up much of a fight. But to be fair, he can't really. He doesn't have enough HP to survive one. Like, I think even if, um... I don't think he would even be able to survive past the Noble Phantasm, to be honest. He just ain't built for that. You ain't that guy, buddy. You just ain't that guy. I'm sorry to say. I don't want, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but... Because I love you. But the truth hurts. Is that she's just goddamn... It's the last hit, too, where it deals the most damage. Ooh, nice. I think that is the new highest we've gotten. I'll put it in the thumbnail, just to be like, Yo, this much damage, let's go. It's alright. So people click on it and go like, What is he doing? And the answer is, I didn't, I'm not doing shit. I just got him to MP5 by accident. <laughs> so yeah, if I, want, if I could have a second MP5 unit, it would definitely be Quetz Quattle. Uh, I love her. It's really more for personal reasons and not like story reason. Not story reason, for grinding reasons. Obviously, if I wanted a better grinder, I would get um, someone like Dantes to MP5 or someone I didn't own like Da Vinci, Kid Vinci. Um, hmm. Yeah, you, uh, if I were to have an MP5, it should definitely be of a unit that I really love. And to be fair, I really like this unit, so I was pretty pissed. You can actually look back at my tweets probably of when. It was happening, but it was angry as hell. Because I was like, why are you showing up? I don't want you to show up. Because the problem is, is that once I got her, it meant that I could never get Summer Marie. Because I was not about to get a, um, a six copy of Summer Artoria before getting a fifth copy of Summer Marie. And I don't think Summer Marie has returned since then. Am I at the highest level, by the way? It'd be really funny if I wasn't. Let me check real quick. I should be. Yeah, 10. Let's continue the beatdown, huh? Shall we? I wonder how many of uh, the other stuff I've gotten. I didn't even check. I haven't looked at anything. When I'm in raid mode, I just raid, man. Dota. He loves Dota too. Astolfo confirmed for Dota 2. I love Dota 2. It's my favorite Valve game. Fuck Team Fortress 2. These are the these are the views of Astolfo and not the views of Wookie. I have no problems with Team Fortress 2. I think it's actually a lot of fun. Very character focused. Which I appreciate. Alright. This is your final kill streak, girl. Beat him down. There's actually a good excuse to just like record a bunch of videos of raiding and destroying these bosses with characters. I could try a new. Baby, <laughs> All right, one more, one more for realsy. This is the last one. Yeah, there. Hey, here's your big old insight. Nice. Spartacus bullying. Spartacus bullying. 
I believe in it. No, I don't really. I like Spartacus. I think he's a very fun character. I like him in Apocrypha, too. He's only there for a little bit. But that's kind of how you would describe Apocrypha. All the fun characters get smoked. And you're left with the worst character by the end. That's actually the major problem with Apocrypha. Is that as it goes on... To be fair, I'm also going to say this. That's a problem I have with original uh, Fate Stay Night. Is that as time goes by, the cool servants slowly die. And you're only left with the kind of pains in the asses. The difference is that at least... Um, in the regular, regular Fate Stay Night, at least you get to keep Rin and some other characters that you like, Saber and stuff like that. But in Apocrypha, it's just a slow death march to their only being Sieg. <laughs> Sieg and Jean, and who by the end you just hate Jean with every fiber of your being. That's enough grinding for now. Thank you very much everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Feel free to comment down below about any of the things I talked about. I sure talked about a lot as I'm grinding. But until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!